KK Wizard Terrorism has been engaged in the function of fraudulent engagements such as unitary executive theory and other mislabelings of policies in order to prevent a remedy to secret criminal offenses such as the protection of profits from KKK historic crimes engaging in substantive changes in the functioning market qualifying their ability to have engaged in the higher prosperity of target groups against other target groups such as in the Indian populations where even the wealthy Indians were actively subverted by insurgents who acting affable had gained their approval at which point they felt an extra sting of betrayal as they were stung and stabbed in the back through the functionality of the white collar offense against them engaging the exponential sales of the mechanisms of the various cons in order to extort them through all necessary functions in order to engage in the criminal fraud qualifying the ability for the mass exchange of wealth from one target group to another target group which is specifically prohibited in the capitalist system such as their targeting of David Bull's character under the assumption of his natural superior economic prowess which they held against them as one of the three primary accusations such as race, status, and office. Status being the derivative up to the acceleration from the protected court schedule under law for the United States against the Confederacy. He was labeled by the Confederates as the patriarchy for the Americans as a high priority target in order to overthrow the United States. He was targeted for that function in order to attack him, in order to stabilize the United States economy, in order to overthrow its government, qualifying the systematic terrorist operations from their KKK white nationalist operations, certifying the systematic replacement of the United States with the Confederacy for malice and criminal exponential damages as their natural function and pursuit given to the enterprise of their criminal profits and the protection of their criminal profits against the rule of law, which would qualify the perpetual protection against all secrets. The engagement of secrets is the engagement of magic or secret functions of science, qualifying its obstruction from the court records, qualifying the engagement of the obstruction of secrets from court as an act of magic, which would be leveraged by wizards, which is the KKK, which is a wizard clan, which is the systematic engagement of defrauding the courts as a function of their natural parasitic ventures, which is their core value, which does not exceed the value of the original market, which they are prohibited in competing with on the basis of their natural inferiority, compelling them to the intoxication and attraction towards the theft in question, qualifying the great replacement of the United States economy with the Confederate Communist economy by those who are conducting an inferior series of products on the basis of their obligation to do so in order to compete in the market which they are valuably inferior with qualifying the systematic destruction of the United States economy and its peoples through the systems of Bill Barr's voter fraud systems. We certified that federal agents engaged in the criminal subversion of the United States economy and other aspects of subversion could alterly alter the function of the voting mechanisms engaging in voter fraud which is approved of by the wizard clan under the unitary executive theory under Bill Barr's theory of unitary executive theory such as Scalia's theory which is a precedent of 
the original definitions without the use of precedent, which is a self-contradiction in the function and terms, qualifying their ability to systematically guide the United States legal system into being replaced by the Confederacy for their strategic missions against the general public. This provides substantive changes in the United States economy, which changes the substantive outcomes of votes, qualifying the false certification of votes by the insurgents who systematically replace the United States elected, at which point you have the system of complete voter fraud as a, pun as a function of active insurrection by military insurgents loyal to the Confederacy engaged in the espionage war, at which point the protection of secrets is the act of treason siding with the Confederacy against these United States for the express purpose of the development of fraud against law at the function you develop the larger enterprise of being able to engage in the various cons against the United States public as the enemy in war making all replaced agents, cops, judges, etc., an act of an occupying military force as a KKK insurgency. The KKK has historically sought the infiltration of the United States government, at which point its engagement of doing so has qualified the protection of the Klan terrorist operations, qualifying the systematic destruction of properties and threats against civilians, who, having been guilty of nothing, were to be protected by law from the function, at which point the act of engaging in the clan wizard terrorism qualifies their outfit, which qualifies the defense against them being seen as their faces are obstructed by their wizard hats. Their faces being obstructed by the wizard hats engages in the persistent mechanism of the protection of secrets against prosecution, qualifying the defense of terrorism against law, certifying the war on terrorism as a war against the Confederacy is a war against the secrets being protected by these criminal precedents, qualifying the war on David in order to systematically establish him as a high priority target in order to overthrow the United States government, at which point the act of protecting the secrets against David Bowles is a deliberate act of war against the United States as the systematic treasons engaged in the position qualifies their systematic replacement of the American customs, laws, and legal definitions, at which point they're changing actively of the definition of words, including the function of replacing them inside the dictionary, makes them an exponential catastrophic threat, at which point the prosecution against them, where you are obligated to throw the book at them utterly, qualifies the military expert advice projected from the record as execution, seeing as how their active engagement is the subversion of the definition of words, their existence qualifies the replacement of logic with chaos, qualifying the engagement of their life as a change of definitions or a permission to the change of definitions, turning law and order into chaos and, and unstable engagements for the certification of the perpetual infection, which must be thoroughly and completely purged by the use of all necessary force in order to eradicate these infectious terrorists, qualifying our obligation to engage as a matter of law in the disqualifying of all judges or legislators who do not view their obligations uh, to disqualify Confederate customs and laws from the American procedures as insurrectionists, at which point the refusal to do their job in order to challenge customs and laws which would be presented to them, their ability to challenge them and to throw them out is necessary to their function as a co-equal branch. The refusal to do so is an act of treason which disqualifies them from the function as a double agent, being compromised for the Confederacy in the engagement. They are not lawfully qualified to engage in the judiciary function certifying them as a compromised second party, at which point the 
<clears throat> judge cannot be a part of the cause, at which point the prevention of the judge from being a part of the cause qualifies our obligation to dismantle and throw out all judges loyal to the Confederate policies, which may be labeled some fraudulent distraction, which would exponentially change as time would go on, which includes and has historically been proven to validate the functions of the fake originalists as a custom from Scalia as a function of confederacy against the United States law and economy and public safety. Their military campaign having targeted David Bowles in order to subvert his natural function as the patriarchy in the obstruction of his legal contracts for work is the act of prohibition against his ability to work, which is a specific violation of capitalism, protected by the United States rule of law against these confederacy is an obligation to all who are loyal to the United States, which will require the restoration of all contracts and the profits from all contracts at the liability of the confederates who have engaged in their KKK terrorism for their manufactured anarchy which is the function of their development and investment as a byproduct of the development of the blueprints from the Nazis, which were designed and paid for by the Confederacy in order to engage in higher qualified strategies of espionage against the United States through pseudo-law without any stability or justice, qualifying their ability to be unchallenged, such as the defense against law against secrets, which is a Nazi policy and precedent qualifying the exponential change in the economy, qualifying the ability to exhaust the American public, such as David Bowles, from the security function of the economy, qualifying the starvation of the targets in order to engage in armed robbery, extorting the function of them being able to exist in the society by armed robbery compelling the depletion of the financial accounts which are subsequently vulnerable to the lack of the access to work which is qualified by the disruption of the work contracts qualifying their terrorist incentives. <clears throat> the position of qualified immunity or sovereign immunity or executive privilege or any of the other fraudulent engagements cannot be protected by the mechanism of them engaging in the use of fraud or acting outside of their legal functions or office, qualifying the systematic replacement of the United States government by these mechanisms of fraud is criminal treason, disqualifying all of their immunities or protections from prosecution or punishment by the mechanism as they are engaged in the act of malicious war. and that malice of war is leveraged specifically against the United States obligations, qualifying them as insurrectionists, such as their use of precedent in order to substantively change the meaning and definitions of their words and obligations with inside the duties, qualifying their active change of definitions in order to engage in the replacement of the rule of law with its polar opposite in the function as espionage war against the United States. Whenever you change a word in part that changes its functional meaning, you are engaging in fraud and disqualified from all authorities which would have otherwise been afforded to you under good faith. By the disqualifying of bad faith, they do not have a right to their office or to any verdicts or translations of verdicts for the translation of law requires them to check illegal policies by the insurrectionists, qualifies them to not be members of the cause when engaging in their legal functions, or they have disqualified themselves in all protections and authorities. Many precedents have been actively attacked, such as the most important of all, so much of due process has actively been dismantled piece by piece, including the bits, um, I'm not sure of the exact case, but Sotomayor specifically said that it's been pulled apart in specific parts as to uh, nullify its entire meaning, 
qualifying the position that there is no due process, let alone substantive due process, which is the extreme form of what Thomas um, <clears throat> Clarence was seeking to dismantle substantive due process, at which point the extreme, having been acquired through Kavanaugh's position, of the use of court procedure over justice allows them to strategically dismantle the functions at every level, as which point the, they are purely a kangaroo confederate court, qualifying the rubber stamp mechanisms, such as was actively conducted in FISA, specifically um, against Trump, but against everyone in general, qualifying the position of the complete overthrow of the United States by the infiltration of the court system by the disloyal devil agents acting in bad faith who, having done so, have disqualified themselves from the right to hold office as an enemy engaged in espionage war against the United States. They have no authority to engage in their policies, which is the norms and procedure of defrauding the United States public into abject poverty similar to the mechanisms which have been conducted around the world, such as many poor countries, um, which, if you look up uh, Jake Tran, there's um, a video about uh, a country whose president actively subverted the country and generating positive support from the public systematically replaced uh, the legal government with the fraud government systems qualifying their permanent entrapment into a debt cycle generated by the president who was actively scheming to rob them through the entire policies, at which point you have the systematic fraud and theft as the policy of the Confederacy, the function of their um, collaborations qualifies a similar function to this in their exponential unresponsible mechanisms of policy generating debts in order to engage in the armed robbery through the subversion under the presumption of a legitimate policy when in fact it is fraudulent engaging in the subversions against national security at every level until the system has no functional ability to defend itself from the parasite, at which point they have the maximum robbery, as they are and have always been an enemy to the Americans, permanently and violently, at which point their contempt and malice towards the United States public makes them celebrate the position of their thefts and their injuries as a net positive, at which point if the Americans take it, there is contempt for they accepted the injury, and if they don't take it, there is contempt for the outrageous position that they should reject the position, that there should be a remedy to a Confederate action, at which point the audacity of the American public to reject at any level, especially at the end levels when they have the least amount of mechanisms in order to protect themselves from the function of the Confederate KKK terrorism engaging in the destruction of the American system, qualifying their systematic dismantlement into abject and total poverty and powerless vulnerability, qualifying their abject subjugation to mass slavery based upon the slave raids without cause under the position that the Confederacy engages in the normal policies and procedures of the Confederacy, which is slave raids which generates plantation slavery, which qualifies the abject subjugation of target groups, similar to Lindsey Graham's position on the military position that a, a military member can point to an individual, a group, or to an area and qualify it as an enemy combatant, but against the American public, at which point the specific part of the United States relevant to substantive due process states that the government cannot make... The, a law-abiding citizen, an enemy of the government without due process, at which point the subversion of due process qualifies Lindsey Graham's position, certifying the engagement of the mass slavery programs, engaging in the um, taking over of farmlands, which generates the plantation slavery, at which point the systematic dismantlement of energy sources, such as fossil fuels, 
qualifies their inability to engage in a trade or exchange to a superior platform, qualifying the acts of abusive malice against the American public who have been turned into slaves, qualifying their active malicious abuse exponentially worse and higher trained and disciplined and thought through stratagems qualifying um, an exponential injury beyond the original Confederate slavery as it was the basis and it was built on at which point the foundation being inferior to the building qualifies it as preferable to what is being planned for the American public and the cooperation with the Confederate terrorists who have infiltrated as Churchians qualifies the takeover of the pastoral roles as well as the blocking of pastoral roles in the violation of the right to religion, qualifying the targeting of David Bowles as a pastor, having prevented him from engaging in it, has systematically engaged in the targeting of projected pastors in order to limit the American public to the pastors which have accepted cooperation with the Confederacy for the advanced powers for the original Confederate Druid mechanisms of um, superior authority to the pastor's role, at which point the claim from the pastors is that you should respect the authority in question and give all kinds of false arguments such as um, God has established the authorities and you should be subject to them despite whatever evils they have constructed against you, qualifying their objective knowledge that they are in fact cooperating with constructed evils against the American public, this specific violation of the rights which engages in the maturity of the slavery without clause statements for the systematic malicious tortures of the American public without cause for the extortions and robberies and thefts and forced labor at the inferior positions, qualifying them as degenerating to the point of abject slavery with the cooperation of the Churchians, which have no functional loyalty to the gods of their religion, qualifying the Christian churches having condemned God as their enemy, as it says in the Bible that uh, the managers over the vineyard uh, had their master leave for an extended period of time and the master is seeing it is time to start taking the fruits from his vineyard sent his servants and the servants were beat up and left and the, he sent them over and over and over again until finally he sent his heir at which point they said the heir has come let us kill the heir and having killed the heir, we shall acquire the inheritance from the master. At which point, the position from the Bible's statement is that their attempt to murder their God is not service to Jesus, but their attempt to murder Jesus. Their qualifier is the murder of God by the creation of Revelation, which includes in the ultimate statement, in the act of function, of the creation of revelation for the purpose of summoning God so that at the point of maturity they having all of the equipment from uh, the world powers could engage in the attempt to shoot on God on his return qualifying their ability to murder God which is their core function and goal as they are and have always been his enemy to death which is the function and purpose of the Druid position to trick them into the position of qualifying their abject hatred for God and his servants, qualifying their development in the service of Satan as they systematically fall deeper and deeper into the trap of serving their own enemy to their own destructive ends.